welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see the sign in option sign in is usually about uh, how you log in to the device uh, um, it's not the difference between a work group local uh, account and domain account it's much more than that so any way that you log into a device or for example on your phones we have pin for windows we can uh, get the pins too we can have passwords but what other options are there available one could be the fin uh, uh, finger reader uh, like it will scan your draw, um, thumbs uh, the other one is like uh, I, I don't know if voice recognition is a thing or not but retina scanner is definitely you can have a, uh, a device installed it will scan your retina and lets you log in so let's see all the uh, features or all the options in sign in before we get to the sign in we have to click on start settings accounts and then sign in options so this was the one that I was looking for that uh, to um, Azure ID this this will work from here we'll come back to see this yeah I'm logged in as an administrator account to have the full uh, option available all right <coughs> it's saying some of the CS settings are hidden or managed by organization the f uh, it could be hidden because you um, the Windows 10 has not detected uh, those uh, devices for example a retina scanner or um, thumb scanner so manage how you sign into your device you have a security key so this one uh, is a thumb drive like a USB drive that you can connect to a computer and then it lets you log in we should try this one uh, I have a USB we'll do that uh, so let's go with the password sign in video accounts password dynamic lock so if I click on this one what is it manage a physical security key that can log you into the application if we click on learn more so basically it's a hardware drive meaning your thumb drive that you can act unless you log in and once you remove it you're logged out i hope that's the concept let's see so next one is password if i click manage insert your security key into the usb port so that's it yeah password counts password all delete and choose change your password so yep from the main screen you can do so it will be automatically saved on your active directory server so like at work we do it after 90 days when it's um, um, the password is expired you can do this control or delete you go back to the login screen I can actually show you let's do you this I am inside the this thing it's not letting me control all delete so I can show you later on it's not sending this command media it should be in directions it's disabled all right because maybe I'm because I'm an admin account so I'm gonna show you <coughs> with the local account oh, sorry a user account dynamic lock this one is very cool this is uh, about your phone so for example you see it mentions Bluetooth and other devices Dyn unable dynamic lock is unavailable over remote session so because it's detecting that I'm logged into a virtual machine and that's why maybe so let's exit out of here go back to my because I have a Windows 10 over here and let's compare side by side what option do I have but dynamic lock is about your phone so when um, like for this to work basically it's, it will work on your computers so your computer has to have Bluetooth on it you can check so by going over here and over here it's like applet it will tell you everything I could sh 
even if I want to I cannot show you on my uh, main computer because that portion is out of um, I, it's out of scope like there's side on the side about uh, I would say seven eight inches that is not being captured so it's in there <clears throat> but I do see you will see blue but uh, the Bluetooth button here <clears throat> excuse me so that's about so what happens is that Bluetooth needs to be on on your computer it needs to be on on your phone and when the computer detects that it hates uh, Imran's phone so it will stay unlocked for me and as soon as it detects that Imran has walked out from his desk maybe gone to pick up uh, coffee or has stepped out to you know go to another user of his help desk uh, they have uh, stepped out to help a user or go to a meeting so it will detect automatically based on your phone that you are not on your desk and then it will lock it but what's the shortcoming because it's not uh, based on you your physical presence but the detection of your phone nearby so if you were to leave the phone on your desk to go walk out then no then this will not happen they might have uh, added some work around like the phone screen is unlocked or something blah phone is not moved I'm not sure about that like uh, we could leave phone for hours like on my desk it stays there in for like two hours at a time so but yeah but when I do step out I do take it with me Bluetooth on the device and the last one is uh, what's pr privacy show account details such as my email address on sign in screen you want that you can turn it on it's on now we'll see on the next screen next time we'll log in we'll see related settings lock screen let's see what it is it's like what do you want to uh, see here uh, so background changes all, all the time you could pick options like calendar emails your Skype messages but we want to strictly stay in sign in options and that's I think right up there over here it's just related or something so first before I sign out and show you what I'm seeing uh, and uh, am I seeing this uh, privacy the email address or not um, I'm gonna fire up the settings on my host computer and see if it works or not then we're gonna play with the security key thing and finally I'm gonna turn this for my um, phone uh, so let's go let's start with uh, settings accounts sign in options and I have a lot more here than I had on my uh, on this screen here with the domain maybe it's detecting that it's not a real computer and it uh, probably is because if I go and type in uh, no Windows or MS info 32 and you see for the baseboard it's a Microsoft Corporation virtual machine over here it should see my motherboard and motherboard has that uh, my Bluetooth on it and all that so we can safely exit out of this virtual machine and we have to work with my real computer here so let's see what we have here select a sign-in option to add change or move it we have Windows Hello Face this option is currently available why because I don't have a uh, camera attached second one is Window Hello Fingerprint again this option is currently unavailable because I don't have a thumbprint scanner Windows Hello Pin this is available I could put a pin on my computer security key again is the USB password that's what we are currently using picture password this is very interesting so this is most likely I'm not sure if it work on a keyboard mouse uh, it works for the tablets touch screen so what happens is that you have a picture for example I'm gonna pull a picture let's pull a picture here if we have any Mm. Nothing. 
nothing. That's a shame. So let's click on picture. Incredible picture of tea. Everything is brutal. Let's see. <laughs> Harry. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the picture for you. It's just a picture for me. It's I know where the pattern is and the pattern how do you set it so pattern it could be like you swipe your finger around anywhere here and you don't have to do it exactly like that maybe you just a picture and you write 201 12 2012 right so in this scenario nobody knows what exactly is your picture but you have to be sure where you wrote 2012 it's kind of hard so that's why the picture that you know where the edges are and I just have to swipe it here and it will unlock for you but for anybody who is who does not know your uh, pattern they have to guess like guess is extremely difficult unless you don't are uh, you don't you don't have the habit of wiping down your screen so they can kind of find out where you have been swiping that's about the picture thing so oh, let's go to settings <coughs> require sign in if you have been away when you should when should windows require you to sign in again when pc wakes up from sleep never so there are two options that <coughs> you can set either uh, it never doesn't matter if screen goes to blank the, the computer goes to hibernate but as soon as you move the mouse or press a button on the keyboard everything wakes up wakes up and you are not presented with the uh, sign in screen you just get to see your desktop this is ideal for home users when uh, multiple people use the same computer for different things uh, so you can leave it on because it's just staying at home <coughs> uh, but for work definitely you want that to be locked out dynamic lock we already talked about this so we're gonna use the dynamic lock uh, with my uh, cell phone because this video is getting longer and longer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, shorter videos for all of the other options let's do that and some of them will try here on the virtual machine whatever is available for example password we know that security key we can try to implement over there and then we can do the pen picture password here I am not sure swipe and tap your favorite photo to unlock your device can I do that if it's available probably I can so let's go one by one uh, uh, I'm gonna wrap this video here as an introduction and then I'm gonna go one by one with the other ones so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in uh, just in few minutes in the next one in security key